Good day, class. For today's topic, we will be discussing another method in order for us to collect blood samples from patients, especially for those patients who are having small, very delicate veins. This is through the venipuncture of a hand vein using a butterfly and an evacuated tube system holder. Right now, you're already familiar with the different procedures and steps in the venipuncture through syringe and the evacuated tube system method. This time in the butterfly or the wing infusion set method class, it is still the same. However, it is only the technique that is different. Usually, kasi class, a phlebotomist or a medical technologist may elect to use a winged infusion set or the butterfly when attempting to draw blood from antecubital veins of infants, small children, newborns, or from difficult adult veins such as small antecubital veins or wrist and hand veins from senior citizens, Patients that have been in bed for a long period of time, so those bedridden patients. Edematous patients, so those patients that have an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the different parts of the body. So those are certain instances wherein a phlebotomist or a medical technologist may opt to use this technique. A butterfly needle class, although they are available in various gauges, a 23-gauge butterfly is the most commonly used for small and difficult veins. Butterfly needles are also available in two basic types. One type has a hub that can be attached to a syringe, and the second type has a hub with a multi-sample lure adapter that can be threaded onto an evacuated tube system tube holder. You may select the type according to the method you have chosen to collect the specimen. The method chosen may be either ETS or the syringe. Typically depends on the size, the condition, and location of the vein, as well as the skill and personal preference of the user. In some cases, a syringe and butterfly are used after a failed attempt at blood collection using a butterfly and ETS holder. For either method, the butterfly needle typically contains the safety feature. In certain situations, as a blow or rupture of the vein or the vein has collapsed, a butterfly needle with a gauge of 23 is the most commonly used in these situations in order for you to extract small volume blood tubes and to help prevent the hemolysis of the specimens. Because in the cases of using wind infusion set class, Usually, the chances of hemolysis is higher. So, in order for you to help prevent this type of things to happen, you may use this type of gauge. And also, to make sure that your technique is correct. So, for today, I will be teaching you the different parts of the winged infusion set. So, this one class here is the needle cap, under which is the siliconized ultra sharp three beveled cannula supported by the large interlocking wings this one over here class serves as the hub so when you insert the needle on the arm of the patient there will be blood seen over here which indicates that you have entered the correct vein this one here is the tubing this can be either 8 to 15 centimeters long this one is the lure cap that is connected to the either the syringe or the tube adapter 
This one over here is the rubber sleeve over needle. So this one will puncture your tubes. Okay? So this type of winged infusion set class has a safety feature. So let's, I'll show you for a while. So when you're done getting blood from the patient, you just push it going up and this will lock and cover your needle totally. So see, this has a safety feature. We also have another type of winged infusion set. So this one is still the needle cap. This one is the needle that is ultra sharp. This one still has flaps or wings. That's why it's called the butterfly class. This also has a tubing and this one is the cover for your uh, lure interlocking cap. So this one is connected to the syringe and you just lock it. If you're no longer using it, you just close it like this. Okay? Discard all these types of winged infusion set in a sharps container. Never forget that the main objective in performing any type of venipuncture, either butterfly, syringe, or the evacuated tube system, is to obtain a blood specimen for patients diagnostic or monitoring purposes so that is our main goal the next video class will show you how to assemble the butterfly with the evacuated tube system holder so to make sure that everything is sterile you have to disinfect your hand wear your gloves and make sure not to touch the needle Inspect the needle for any discrepancy, no tip, no bevel, there are jagged edges, so inspect the needle, but never remove the cap. Once you're done inspecting, get the evacuated tube system adapter and insert the rubber sleeve over needle and Lock it using the lure interlocking cap. And then, there you have it. The picture class that is shown on the screen is a butterfly or the winged infusion system attached to the body of the syringe. So you can also do that. While on the right side is the winged infusion set attached to a tube holder either of these two techniques can be used during your venipuncture procedure but make sure that the technique is done correctly to avoid hemolysis and clots Thank you so much for listening. I hope you've learned something new today.